Yes! It's that time of year again. Hey guys, this is me doing an intro for the channel called It's Pronounced Leela because everybody says it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy! You're fired. Christmas came to New Zealand in 1642. Ever since then, we Kiwis have been putting our own special spin on Jesus' birthday. Sunshine in abundance, nine times out of ten. There's no such thing as a white Christmas here in New Zealand. But that won't stop us from singing the songs. Here in New Zealand, the red, white, and green traditional colours of Christmas remind us of red Kahutakawa trees, green grass on which we play backyard cricket, and white sand beaches. Beaches! Whether it's on Christmas Day itself or the entire holidays, Christmas in New Zealand means scorching sand and at least one kid standing on a blue bottle. It means Nana swearing that this year we will bake our own pavlovas. Ah! But inevitably she goes out and buys one anyway. Yay! This one might be more specific to Auckland, but everyone knows about the giant Santa above Whitcalls on Queen Street. I'm just glad they removed his creepy beckoning finger. A New Zealand Christmas also means people going completely banana pants because Wait mercy, the shops are going to be closed for one whole day. What if something happens and we need 300 rolls of toilet paper, or 18 loaves of bread, 7 light bulbs, or a partridge in a pear tree? We'd better all go to the exact same mall right now and stock up like it's the apocalypse. For many of us it meant visiting all the family and having each Christmas day meal in a different house. Essentially it's a solid 19 hours of hi how are you, eating until you're about to burst, unwrapping presents, get in the car, come on let's go, go to the next place, do it all again, wash, rinse, repeat. And a New Zealand Christmas means the New New Zealand version of Black Friday, aka Boxing Day, when all of the stores are trying to fog off their decorations and Christmas themed food by giving you ridiculously cheap prices. Which is fantastic if you're brave enough to face the crowds. Stubbies and jandals! Even if it rains, it isn't Christmas until all the rallies have been blinded by the uncle's white thighs and his shorty short shorts. Even Santa gets included in this because despite the 30 degree heat, we Kiwis aren't one to miss out on some Santa action. We definitely aren't above making some weather appropriate alterations to the traditional costume. Naturally having all the family under one roof at Christmas means that your cousins will get the first go of all of your presents. Whether it be your lovely new Malibu Barbie house or your brand new inline skates that you've been wishing all year for that they then go rocketing down the driveway on, fall over and scratch off all the paint. There you have it, 10 things that make a New Zealand Christmas. So happy festive season to you all, whatever you're celebrating in your neck of the woods and however you're celebrating. Don't forget that if I hit 300 subscribers by the end of this year, I am giving away two $50 vouchers for Madman, a signed poster of my Doctor Who Burlesque show, and a bunch of other little knick-knacky things depending on who the prize goes to so they get things that they will enjoy. I'm currently at 247. I know there's 53 more of you out there who want to see all of the year. Bing bang boom, do it, and I will see you next year. I think, maybe. Who knows? Completely bananas because hot there. Cool beans.